previous video, we dispelled the myth that beans loaded with that dreaded phytic acid are detrimental for our health. And instead, we learnt how eating beans can reduce the risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, many different types of cancer, and even extend our lifespan. To see that video, you can click the link above. Beans and legumes contain large amounts of carbohydrates. However, they act very differently on our blood sugar and insulin levels compared to other carbohydrate sources. If you combine beans with high glycemic foods, for instance like white rice, you can actually blunt the spike in blood sugar and insulin levels that the white rice would have caused, just by adding beans to the meal. In fact, beans can actually moderate your blood sugar, not just at the meal you eat them, but even up until the next day. And it's this effect we're going to look at in more depth now. So let's hear as Dr Joel Furman explains the amazing effects that beans have on our body. The link to the full presentation will be in the description below. The resistant starch is a type of carbohydrate that's resistant to enzymatic degradation, which means it doesn't get absorbed as calories. Some of the calories in beans don't get broken down. They pass through you and go right through into the toilet bowl because the resistant starch is degraded by bacteria in the distal part of the small intestines and proximal part of the large intestines. That means it gets turned into fat, but it gets turned into short-chain fatty acids so far down in the digestive tract that 90% of those calories pass through into the toilet bowl, thus increasing stool fat. More fat in your stool, less fat in your body. And the 10% of those short-chain fatty acids that are made from beans that are absorbed have beneficial effects to lower the glycemic effect of other foods and have anti-cancer effects. And the buildup of bacteria that are needed to digest those resistant starches in beans have beneficial health effects. Those bacteria prevent the absorption of glucose from other foods that are not beans. When you eat beans regularly, you build up the bacteria to digest those beans better. So when you're eating beans regularly, you're not producing as much gas from the beans as anymore because you're digesting them better because you're eating them regularly. You have now a bowel full of those bean-digesting bacteria, and those bean-digesting bacteria live within you now. And then when you eat a next meal and you have oatmeal and berries and something, when you eat another meal, those bean bacteria are still in you. And those bacteria that brew from the eating of beans have the effect to slow the glucose absorption. They have an anti-glycemic effect. They lower the absorption of glucose from other foods that are not beans, even in the second meal or the third meal. The scientific literature, scientists call this the second meal effect. But it's not really the second meal effect because it happens at the third, fourth, fifth meal, any meal you eat if you're eating beans regularly. Dr. Furman has written some amazing books, including the New York Times bestseller, Eat to Live. Links to buy his books will be in the description below, along with the links to his website. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.